by the federal government in a corruption scandal involving USC School of Social Work. The new news this hour is that Mr. Ridley Thomas has issued a statement. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. I have no intention of resigning my seat on the city council and neglecting my duties. Doing so would be a detriment to the people I serve, and I have no intention of having leaving my constituents without a voice on matters that directly affect their well-being. So instead, I intend to do two things. Disprove the allegations leveled at me and continue the work I was elected to do, most importantly, addressing the homeless and housing crisis. The homeless crisis, huh? He is the chair of the city council's homelessness and yeah. poverty. Yeah, yeah. and he's a complete failure. He's a bloviating He has been a time to actually go. He's been a leader in the region's yeah. fight against homelessness. He, he has been. He helped create 70,000 people living and dying on the street. Congratulations. What a human tragedy. He helped create. What a failure. What a loser. What a corrupt. What an awful corrupt fucking politician he is. So there you have it. the worst. We were bringing calls, and we had Drew Buscaino on the other day, the only city council that had the mayor, that he ought to resign and step aside. Oh, no! They ought to take him off all the committees. They ought to do whatever they can to neuter him. That's what they ought to do. That's not what's going on. That's what they did with the other, like Jose Rizar. They got all kinds of hard evidence. I tell them what's going on. They've got an email chain. No! The whole back and forth as to how Ridley Thomas negotiated it with uh, Marilyn Flynn at USC. So how's this lawyer going to maneuver this thing? He's not right. He seems to be... They're not going to prove it out. He's just fighting. He's not going to give well, it. He's just, he'll be convicted. He'll be convicted. He's kind of obnoxious insane. and he believes that he's uh, above all this. Then you know what? He'll go broke with lawyer fees and he'll get convicted. And he'll, he's, he's like these uh, smart asses who got involved in the, uh, in, in, in the college admission scandal. They're all a bunch of rich guys, rich women who thought they were smarter than everyone else. So they they could beat the case. That's right. right. Except so the two guys in Massachusetts were just found guilty. When, right. when the federal government has the evidence in print, or they have the ed evidence on audio recording, and there's multiple people involved in the story, what do you, what do you think the 83-year-old uh, woman from USC is going to do? She doesn't want to go to prison at 83. Oh. Well, she could plead out and turn on Ridley Thomas. She could turn on Ridley Thomas, yeah. Marilyn, Marilyn Louise Flynn is her name, the former dean of USC School of Social. Yeah, and then the, then the case is that uh, county money was steered to the university by Thomas in return to get his son Sebastian into graduate school with full tuition in the face of that. And they're going to make Sebastian is going to have to testify? Oh, yeah. 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 And maybe uh, Catherine Barga and Hilda Solis and uh, Sheila Kuehl and all those other uh, corrupt supervisors who uh, voted for the $9 million, find out what they knew in advance, whether they asked any questions, embarrass them. Oh, this would be great. I hope that, you know what? I hope he fights it. Oh, Don't quick. Go ahead. Let's have at it. This will be a, this will be a great trip. We'll find out about all the kinds of corruption going on here and in USC. How many other people at USC knew about this? She had to clear this with a lot of other uh, people. Even the editorial board of the mighty Occidental Times is calling for Mr. Ripley Thomas to get down. Well, they, been, they have been selling and endorsing this bad and corruption for 30 years. They've been constantly, every, every four years when he ran for something new. He, they all always praise him, always did the knob slobbering editorial. So this is him, too, to the extent that anybody's following and I like the way they wrote this. The federal indictment is not just any accusation. Ridley Thomas faces formal charges handed up by a grand jury after a year's-long investigation. That's another thing. This was all that we looked at. How many people are on a grand jury? Grand juries are big. I think they're they say grand juries are indicted ham sandwich if you want them to. Well, that's a big, fat ham sandwich, don't you think? That's the, that's the whole ham there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole pit row. Uh, they appear to have communications between Ridley Thomas and Ridley Thomas. A, a, a year's investigation? A year's worth of evidence? Please. <laughs> so, it seems actually they're teaching. He really didn't show up for classes. We are going to listen to Mark Ridley Thomas. This is an interview he did in 2019 with Conan Nolan. Uh, about oh, some of his ramblings on homelessness. He was on the board of supervisors then, and yeah, 
co-chair of Governor Newsom's Committee on the Homeless yes. Crisis. Yeah, another, yeah, what a genius, huh? 70,000 people dying here on the streets. Fouling up the streets with feces and meat them. He is going to talk about here, I believe, the only time that he was the co-chair along with Daryl Steinberg, the former Sacramento legislator, is now the mayor of Sacramento. The only time I said, hmm, and that's because they were coming up with an idea that you have a right to shelter, but you have an obligation to take it. This is at least one way to clear the streets by saying to people, we've got a place for you, but you've got to take a shelter doesn't mean a six hundred thousand dollars newly constructed apartment. All right, so let's listen to Mark Ridley Thomas ramble and then uh, let's get the uh, mob members and John to open state and break the fire for the uh, for the dump. Well essentially what we're saying is we have grown completely to the the cramped intolerance of people mm -hmm. being on the street. Yes, you're right. Not only Los Angeles, but throughout the state of California. Yes, oh. you're right. Literally dying. Our corner, medical, oh, and medical. Let's get them on the way. Let's get them on the way. Let's open the door. Rock the lab. Let's get them on the way. 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 Let's Hey, that's great. Yeah, you don't hear the echo thing because he's dissolved. So, wow, that's it. That's great. He's going to look right there. Stop there. You see, huh? That was a thin film of goo at the top. On the top there, right? <laughs> like an oil spill. <laughs> right. Well, there you go. Uh, we'll be following this case, obviously. Uh, it probably has a long way to go. Uh, I hope more. this goes on for five years. All right, coming up next, round two of the voice line. John and Ken KFI, Deborah Mark. The Department of LA will unveil a gun violence memorial next week. The memorial features 3,400 bases with flowers, one for each person who lost their life to gun violence last year. LA has a new parking garage. It's set to open Tuesday. The average price of a gallon of regular gas in LA County is now more than $4.46. The average price of one gallon is $4.46 a gallon. Both counties have not been this high since October of 2012. Total on the 405, and we will check in with the KFI in the sky next. Attention savvy investors. Looking for predictable monthly cash flow? How about double-digit targeted returns? Want to reduce uncertainty while hedging inflation and stock market risk? If you want the safety and security of a real estate investment, but without the hassles of being a landlord, you've probably heard of NRIA. NRIA is an industry-leading real estate development firm in its 15th year developing strategically located, lower-risk, high-demand neighborhoods based on supply-demand imbalance. They're a great fit for safety-oriented investors who want cash flow and diversification into carefully chosen real estate. Learn more about the NRIA Real Estate Development Fund at nria.net or call 800-800-1414. That's 800-800-1414. An offer of securities is only made by the NRIA Private Placement Memorandum. Read it first. Past performance does not guarantee future results. NRIA is a real estate development firm. Learn more at nria.net. In need of a vacation, your Catalina Island experience awaits. And now for a limited time, stay three nights for the price of two at any Catalina Island company property. Book your next vacation at visitcatalinaisland.com. That's visitcatalinaisland.com. Southland weather from KFI. Sunny and warm tomorrow. Highs mid 80s, the low 90s. This report brought to you by Catalina Island, uh, Catalina Island Company. We have a crash on the 405 in Long Beach. That's right, it is Long Beach Injury Wreck, the left lane. It's right where the 405 instead of 10 meet. Um, you're going to see that left lane blocked and you've got stop and go traffic from Delano. If you're on the yes. one eastbound making your way through Long Beach, you're going to stack up right around the 110 and you're going to be on the brakes over to Euclid. Michael Bryan is over that terrible spot in Laverne. It's been that way all afternoon. Yeah, and it's going to be a while longer. We're waiting on a corner to arrive here on a fatal investigation. It's the 210 eastbound approaching baseline where the motorcycles go down there. 
carpool and two left lanes are blocked. There's only two right available and that's not enough. It is bumper to bumper right from the 57. And that track, you can literally walk hood to hood and not touch the ground. Now before you get that far, 210 eastbound, pretty normal slowing. It's free choppy from Pasadena out through Citrus. So very tough drive there. Also on the 10 eastbound, just approaching Monta Vista. We take a problem clearing out of lanes there. And then you're going to the 57 right off the Kellogg interchange in through Montclair. Injuries and accident, visit superwomansuperlawyer.com. Mike O'Brien, hey, I'm Ryan in the sky. Also in Boyle Heights, 60 westbound right to Whittier Boulevard. That crime still has the left lane blocked. You've got flowing from the rear of the street. KFI is trying to get there faster. I'm Jim Ryan. Mr. Taylor is sponsored by Wendy's. Get Wendy's bacon or sausage, egg, and Swiss breakfast croissant for $1.99. This hot buttery croissant is fluffy enough to sleep on. Wakey, wakey, get a better breakfast for just $1.99. Oh, yeah, wait. Limited time on the left side, make a safety barrier. Take on the delivery package, make a barrier. Attention, homeowners. Is your current loan amount between $300,000 and $822,000? That's right, $822,000. If so, today's 15-year fixed rock bottom rate is 1.99%. That's right, 1.99% weight in APR. And if that's not enough, Interactive Mortgage will even pay your title, escrow, and appraisal fees. No points and no fees. Absolutely zero. Zilch. Nada. So what are you waiting for? Get a 1.99% rate on a loan up to $822,000 today. Call Interactive Mortgage now at 844-371-CASH. That's 844-371-CASH. 844-371-2274. Or visit interactivemortgage.com. One point corporation DB Interactive Mortgage. Equal housing lender. Terms and conditions apply. New clients only. Loan about $300,000 to $822,000. Minimum FICO of $740 and maximum LTV of 60%. All loans subject to underwriting approval. And not all applicants will qualify. Loans made or arranged for certain California finance law license number 603 f 93 NLS number 3022352. Don't miss Hulu's new original series, Dope Stick, an investigative thriller from executive producer Danny Strong. Discover how one company triggered the worst drug epidemic in American history and then try to cover it up. Watch how it all began in the boardrooms of Big Pharma, ravaged small-town America, and made its way to the hallways of the DEA. The series stars Michael Keaton, Rosario Dawson, Peter Sarsgaard, Caitlin Deaver, Will Poulter, and John Hoganacker, and Michael Schulbart. Watch the first three episodes now and catch two episodes Wednesdays on Hulu. Living with dental issues is hard. No one knows this better than Joseph, who struggled with family teeth for years. The inflammation, the bad breath, the teeth falling out, the pain. These issues took their toll, so Joseph came to Clear Choice Dental Implant Center, where he discovered one procedure to put an end to the years of discomfort, pain, and compromise. Once I got it done, I was like, I didn't do this so long. That's what dental implants did for Joseph. Find out what they can do for you by visiting clearchoice.com. When Bill and I needed new windows over 20 years ago, we picked a company we thought would do a good job. We were so disappointed. We saw a genuine need for a company with strong character, one that people could have faith in. American Vision Windows was born right then and there. What sets American Vision Windows apart is easily the culture. Their greatest investment is in their employees, and it shows. It was a great experience. I couldn't ask for anything better.